fractional executive or consultant. What's the difference and why should you care? I'm Jay Kingley, the co-founder and CEO of Maven. Michael spent 30 years in three corporations with increasing levels of responsibility. He rose to be the chief financial officer of a $250 million revenue company selling industrial products. The owner, ready for retirement with no family members interested in running the business, decided to sell out to a private equity firm. While the private equity principals liked Michael and felt he was more than competent at the job, they intended to restructure the firm financially and wanted someone who was loyal to them who had driven this type of change in the past. Out went Michael with a nice severance package. At 54 years old, Michael was too young to retire and felt he still had a lot to give to the right company. Michael also realized that at his age, His prospects for landing another full-time executive level position were slim. Kathy spent 25 years working in finance. She was a CPA and spent the first 12 years working at a large CPA firm doing audits and financial projects for clients. After taking eight years off for her family, she got a full-time job working for the CFO of a publicly traded consumer products company with revenues just above $1 billion. She worked on systems upgrades, metrics and reporting, treasury management, and financial analysis. Six months ago, her employer went through a cost reduction program and Kathy, a highly compensated employee, was let go. She still needed to work for nine to 10 more years to secure her standard of living and to give her a sense of purpose. She felt the employment market for a 58-year-old highly compensated female in finance was limited. Now, both of them decided to set up their own professional services business, leveraging their years of experience and expertise in corporate finance. They shared the same high-level goals, recreate their corporate income, not working the insane hours that they often did while in corporate, working with clients who valued what they brought to the table, allowing them to feel relevant and useful, taking on client work that was fun and challenging. But what is the best way for Michael and Kathy to position themselves in the marketplace to achieve their goals? Traditionally, when senior level executives not ready for retirement left corporate, voluntarily or not, they often set up a consulting business, leveraging their experience, expertise, insight, and sometimes wisdom. They hope to offer their services to clients who weren't interested in hiring them full time but still needed their help. Despite their track records, most executives who went down this path struggled. They never understood that consulting is a very different business than the type of work they did all those years, slogging away in corporate. Consulting has its own business model, ways of delivering the service, contracting with clients, and building a pipeline. After I graduated from business school with three years of prior experience as an engineer, working for DuPont, I joined a strategy consulting firm and spent many years learning the business of consulting, delivery, marketing, sales, and leadership. Later, I spent time as a senior corporate executive at one of the largest financial services firms in the world. Working in corporate and working as a consultant are two very different businesses, as I learned quickly. Although fractional executives began to offer services Over the last 20 years, their numbers have exploded in the last 12 to 24 months, fueled by the pandemic's impact on work. I'm seeing more and more Second Act executives leaving corporate post-50 and becoming fractional executives rather than consultants. I venture that going forward, most corporate executives starting their own professional services business will do so as fractional executives and those leaving large branded consulting firms are the ones who will become independent consultants. Now this begs the question of what is the difference between a fractional executive and a consultant? This table summarizes the similarity and differences 
between fractional executives and consultants and adds in interim executives, a bit different than fractional executives, and employees. A fractional executive is a part-time member of the leadership team of the organization. If you're a fractional CFO, then you're being brought in to do the job of the CFO. You're part of the C-suite executive team, lead the finance function, and manage the accounting controller and treasury departments. You do all of this on a part-time basis, perhaps 25 to 50% of your time. You serve multiple clients at the same time. On the other hand, a financial consultant would undertake to find projects related to the finance function. The consultant would not be a member of the executive team, have no line responsibilities, and would be retained on a specific project-by-project basis. Consultants often work with people in the organization without ever becoming part of the organization. Most consultants work on multiple projects for multiple clients at the same time. A fractional executive or consultant is neither better or worse than the other, just different. For a given level of experience, expertise, and insight, they can make a similar amount of money. The question you have to answer is which one better suits the intersection of your passion, expertise, and demand. Now let's go back to Michael and Kathy. Both have played at a senior executive level in finance. Michael's experience is as a line executive in the CFO role. He's great at it, loves it, and there's plenty of demand for his expertise and insight. He will thrive as a fractional CFO. Kathy, on the other hand, has done primarily project work. She finds the work challenging, fulfilling, and enjoyable. Her track record is outstanding, and her expertise and insight will be in strong demand in her target market. She will prosper as a finance consultant. The big mistake that too many second act executives make is positioning themselves as being able to do both the fractional role and consulting. They are fundamentally different, and which role is needed is based on what the client is looking for. Whether your client needs a fractional executive or a consultant, they want someone who is focused and knows how to deliver in that role. Whatever you may think of your capabilities, positioning yourself as the jack of all trades who can do either role only communicates to your prospects that you are the master of neither. Pick a lane and go all in to achieve your full business potential. Let's have a conversation on whether you should position yourself as a fractional executive or consultant. And from there, I'll best to build a business that will allow you to recreate your corporate income without the insane hours. As a fractional executive, you work with us to help you recreate your corporate income without working the insane hours. Our fractional flycast service focuses on how to price, package, and position your years of experience and expertise, create and refine your go-to-market strategy so it's effective and efficient, and execute. Working with us, you will build a robust pipeline to become fully booked, start getting paid what you're worth, and eliminate your brute force marketing. Maven's unique fractional catalyst service for those serving startups and early stage companies gets you acting like a venture capitalist in managing your business and as an entrepreneur when working with your clients. Achieve financial security and reward with clients who want you to take charge, ask for forgiveness, not permission, in an environment without all the politics and bureaucracy you find in corporate. Email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to learn more.